Hey guys, Jason here again with another episode of Sports Buzz, my third episode. Um, and today I'm going to break some NFL news. I just heard recently, within the past 5 10 minutes, that there's been some big NFL hirings. Chip Kelly of the Oregon Ducks, the head coach, has decided to forego Oregon after after interviewing with the Browns and, you know, saying that he didn't want to go to the NFL originally, has decided to go to the Philadelphia Eagles, which I think is interesting. I think it's better better to him than Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly's got a better um, has better in the future for Notre Dame as far as that goes. But um, I think it's gonna be interesting with the Eagles and Chip Kelly. Um, it's the, the way the Oregon team plays and their fast defense and their uh, their offense was was really really good. Their spread offense last year um, that, that that should be. I don't know if that can translate to the NFL and work as as good as he would want it to. He may have to make some big adjustments. They may have to bring in some guys, whatever. But it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see what they do. Um, I, I like it as a fit. And also the Chicago Bears have hired Mark Tressman of the uh, – he coached in the Canadian Football League with a Montreal team that has won back-to-back Grey Cup championships. So let's tell you one thing. And they had – he'd been on the Bears' radar for a while. I've been, I was – um, looking up, and you know, I find I find that interesting. He's an offensive offensive minded coach, which is definitely good for the Bears. We'll see who he brings in as far as a defensive coordinator. Now that I believe the whole Lovey Smith um, staff is gone, I'm not definitely sure about that. But um, we'll see. It should be interesting. I don't necessarily know much about him other than that. I know, like I said, he won back to back championships. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. I. I think as long as they have Jay Cutler, say what you want to say about him. He's better than some of these other quarterbacks in the uh, in the league. Um, you know, some of these some of these worse off teams have worse off quarterbacks. But um, and then you have Brandon Marshall on the outside. They did. I think the Bears just need to establish a slot receiver um, to, uh, to complement Alshon Jeffrey. And um, I don't think Devin Hester is a receiver. I don't even think he's going to. You know, he may play. He said early when Lovey was first fired. You know, you fans. Um, well, got what you want, and I'm going to retire. I don't think he's going to retire. I haven't heard much about that. And then, of course, you have Brian Urlacher on the defensive side, the staple of the defense, who admittedly, for me, he's one of my, my favorite players, but he's slowing down. So we'll see if he um, you know, decides to they, – if they, if they sign him to a two-year deal, one-year deal, whatever, um, to, to keep him in Chicago. If not, they got to find someone. I'm sure they have some people in mind already. Um, I think the defense could be okay. Um, we'll see about, you know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, um, it's an inter- interesting day so far. That's all I've heard. I've heard also that Ken, Ken Wisenhunt may be going to Denver as the, I think it was the offensive coordinator, which is going to be interesting, um, you know, just because Ken Wisenhunt has been on a on bad teams as far as offensively goes and um, with the, with the uh, Cardinals, Arizona Cardinals the last couple of years, so with you know with uh, Kevin Cobb and uh, I mean he did, I think he did have Kurt Warner so I mean, that that's a positive but we'll see we'll see what he can do with Hayden Manning if that rumor is actually true. All right guys well thank you for watching this this episode of Sports Buzz stay tuned please comment subscribe like this video I will have I I will definitely have an album review corner up this week um, also you know I will have more sports videos as they as the news breaks and uh, have a good day everyone. Bye-bye.